Apple's iPhone 16 Pro is anticipated to launch in early September 2024 and will have significant improvements in design performance and camera functions. Apple has just finished up its annual developers conference, WDC 2024, and the next major item on the cards is the launch of the iPhone 16 series, which is slated to come in fall 2024. iPhones are rumored to have considerable advancements over their predecessors. While we already know that Apple will power the iPhone 16 series with iOS 18, the Pro models are also likely to get the Apple Intelligence feature, which includes a suite of AI functions for its customers. Aside with iOS 18 AI, Apple's flagship series is expected to have design upgrades and increased performance. As typically, Apple stays tight-lipped regarding the next-generation iPhone, but the internet is already rife with leaks and speculations that give us a taste of what to anticipate from the next incarnation of the flagship handset. Based on Apple's past launch trends, the iPhone 16 Pro is expected to be presented in early September, probably between September 3rd and 11th, with sales beginning a week later. Pricing for the iPhone 16 Pro is expected to start at $999 in the United States. The iPhone 16 Pro is rumored to have a slightly bigger 6.3-inch display than its predecessor's 6.1-inch screen. This display is projected to be higher and narrower, with a 19.6 to 9 aspect ratio instead of the previous 19.5 to 9. In terms of style, the iPhone 16 Pro is believed to have the titanium frame debuted with the iPhone 15 Pro, but it may have an even slimmer look with thinner 1.2mm bezels. The Face ID component may be concealed behind the display, further improving the device's aesthetics. Following the lead of the iPhone 15 Pro, the iPhone 16 Pro is likely to keep the titanium frame and USB-C port. One of the most fascinating reports is that the volume and power buttons may be replaced by capacitive buttons, as well as a new capture button devoted to camera functionality. Solid-state buttons would replace conventional physical ones, resulting in a more durable and responsive user interface. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So with up and said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.